one of the things that I think I'm most proud of in my career is the ability to look at ways in which I can improve the health, not just of the person who's sitting across from me in an exam room, but to look at the problems and issues that concern people on a very wide basis. Uh, those of you who are interested in this may think of this as being public health or community health, but being an African-American woman and thinking about some of the challenges that the African-American population faces in health, that it was important for me to be able to do things in order to help to address these problems. Some of the problems have to do with common illnesses like high blood pressure or diabetes, but actually some of the problems have more to do with something that we call the social determinants of health. And that is health is not just determined by um, medications that you take or things that you inherit from your parents or your grandparents, but also it can be determined by where you live, by your education level, what kinds of social connections do you have to friends, to family? What kind of neighborhood do you live in? Is it a neighborhood that's challenged with violence or is it a neighborhood that's fairly safe? Do you have the opportunity to have a healthy place to get food? Do you have the opportunity to go to places where you can exercise regularly? All of those things help to determine whether or not someone is healthy and are actually more important than some of the things that you can receive at the doctor, like medication or medical advice.